Hey guys, got a quick video for you in which I'm going to teach you how to connect to your Google Cloud virtual machine using a user provided SSH key. Now, the way we normally go in and connect to our virtual machine is to use the SSH option here. But if we have a Mac, we want to use a user provided SSH key and connect using our native SSH client that comes with the operating system, mainly because that client is a little better quality than the browser-based SSH client that Google provides us. The first thing you need to know is if you're going to connect using your native SSH client, you need a key pair created that you can share with Google, and that key pair is what allows you to authenticate yourself when you try and connect. That way, no one else can connect unless they have a copy of your private key. Now, the way we go about this is we begin by launching the Terminal app. We go to Applications, Utilities, and Terminal, and we launch the Terminal app. Now, in the Terminal app, we're going to enter an SSH-keygen command. Now, I'll leave a, a copy of this command down in the description of the video as well as a link back to the Google documentation where I found how to actually write in this command into the terminal. So it follows this basic format. SSH-keygen is the program we're running. We're generating an RSA formatted key. We're saving it to a specific file name and we're including in the key a specific username. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to use generic username so I'm going to use R Thaxton for my username and I need to save it in a file that will help me know by name what that particular uh, key file is used for so I'm just going to name it R Thaxton also so once we type that in we can go ahead and press enter it generates the private public key pair and then it asks if we'd like to enter a passphrase. Uh, it's a good idea to have a passphrase on it. It's like a password on your key. I'm just going to go ahead and skip it for this demonstration. And then it generates your key and shows you that it has been saved in a particular folder. And if I scroll up, I can see that the private key was saved in .sshrthaxton and my public key was saved in .sshrthaxton.pub. Now the .pub is what we share with everybody. The, the just plain file without the .pub is our private key and we must protect that. So now that we have a private public key pair generated, we need to give Google that public key. And we do that by going to our console and in the compute engine area, we scroll down to the metadata. Now, by adding a key in here under metadata, every one of our virtual machines will get the key. So if you want to do a key per machine, there's an alternative method you're gonna to have to go through, which I'm not gonna cover in this video. But here, we go to metadata and SSH keys, and any key we add here, will be assigned to every server that we create within this billing group. So we click Add SSH Keys, and here it wants us to paste in our public key. We go back to Terminal. We use the More command to see that public key file. You're not going to use your private key, you're going to use the one with .pub on the end of it. And the more command will output it to the screen. And what's important here is that you note that it begins with ssh-rsa and it ends with the username that you specified. So we're going to copy everything from the ssh-rsa all the way down to the end of the username. So we copy that. We go back to the cloud. We paste that in. And again, take a moment. Verify that it starts with ssh-rsa. You didn't lose any characters there. 
and it ends with the full username that you gave, no extra characters after it. We're going to hit save. It's going to save the SSH keys, and then after a moment, those keys will propagate to our server, which means we put it into the Google Cloud console, but it actually has to get copied out to the virtual machine. So we may need to give it just a moment. And there you go. The message pops up saying it successfully saved the keys. Now, if we go back to terminal and we access the server using the SSH command, we should be able to get into the server. Now, the command for SSH follows a specific format. We type in SSH space dash I, which is our identity, and we are identified by our private key. So we type dot, dot SSH slash the username or file name we used, in my case, R Thaxton. We're not providing them the public key. They have the public key. We're going to provide them with our private key when we log in. Then we use that same username, R Thaxton, at, and then we put in our IP address. We can find our IP address back here in the console if I go back up to VM instances. And here's my instance public IP address. I'm going to copy that. Go back to terminal. Paste it in. Make sure you don't copy and paste like an HTTP address on there. We just want to put in the IP address. And then we press enter. And we are successfully logged in. I will also leave this SSH command format down in the description of, of this video. So there you have it. The basic steps are we create a public private key pair. We upload a copy of the public key to Google in the console. It propagates down to our virtual machine. We then use our private key with the SSH command to access our server.